What's up? Today I'm going to be unboxing the brand new Hitman 2 for PS4. So, not like Hitman 2, Silent Assassin, for PS2. And it's in this box. Got my cleaver. This is the box that was shipped to GameStop then. It was a order online shipped to me or GameStop direct. So I chose to just ship it to my local GameStop because it's close to where I live. This is my Hitman figure from the episodic season from what, two years ago? I think it was, it came out. And then I have my Hitman Absolution for PS3. So as you can tell, I'm a pretty big Hitman fan. I actually have never played the first one. That was for PC only, I believe. So my first game was uh, uh, Silent Assassin for uh, PS2, and then on through the PS2 basic, the Blood Money one, and I've even played the little uh, Hitman game for the phone, the little the sniper one, the challenge you got when you pre-ordered the Episodic series one. Anyway, enough about my background on Hitman. While you're here. I'm going to be unboxing easy. unboxing the Uber edition. I don't remember the name of it. I think this will tell us. It says it is the Hitman GameStop exclusive collector's edition. It's my return shipping label. So, can I give you an idea of what it looks like? This is it. And not a whole lot of unboxing to it. There's the box. Hitman 2 Collector's Edition. Okay, there's the back of it. And the side, and the other side. I think it's funny uh, with the uh, IOI looking logo down there at the bottom that the uh, studio has now. I think it's hilarious. Like how they're uh, gone to that Ready Player One look to the to their studio. All right, so let's take a look inside. It says we're gonna have a rubber duck, a bullet key ring, signature coins, and exclusive steel case for the game. And the gold edition, whatever the hell that means. I get the expansion pack one plus two, and the exclusive collector's pack, which in the game gives me my, my rubber duck bomb, my midnight suit, which uh, seems a lot like what, I guess I don't even need my cleaver. Seems a lot like what I got in the uh, in the first the Hitman one, the episodic one. Oh wow! Let me show you guys that. It looks a lot better with the with the plastic off of it. Alright. Take the sleeve off. Maybe. around the rubber feet. There we go. Nice. It just kind of unfolds off of it. It's a nice transparent. So better look at the locks on the case hinges on the back. It's actually really nice. It looked like in the picture stuff online like it was gonna be more plasticky. Especially I was like man that's a hefty price tag. It's $150 American. So it's not though. It's a uh, trimmed in metal. It looks a lot like oh I can't see it behind you but some of the road cases we've had for the van. So that's nice. All right, take the uh, plastic off. 
the logo. So now we can scratch it up. Now it's got its shine. And let's go in. snug in there out here I'll show you so that's the inside the duck the coins and the bullet keychain which again the bullets really nice it's small it's sleek but on here it looks like it's gonna be fat and freaking intrusive right there underneath the case next to the duck so I was a little worried about that, but I will say I am very happy with what it actually looks like. We'll pull it out in just a second. That's what she said. That's off. All right. And there's the steel book. I guess they, there is it together, the photo. I actually have not seen that yet. So you're seeing it before I do. Oh, wow. That's really cool. The IOI logo. <laughs> I don't know why that's making me laugh so much. Is it? I thought it was IO Interactive. I guess, yeah, IO Interactive, IOI. Wow. I never put that together before. I guess because they used to have like the, the kind of circle to the logo. They didn't really do it like that. So maybe they were inspired as well by Ready Player One to change up their, their logo. I have to look into that. Actually, all right. Wow, it is really apparent on that. Look at that. I wonder if Sorrento runs this company. That'd be so funny if like there's a guy that works there named Sorrento. But yeah, so that's the game and the steel book. I guess I can, I can, before I pull the duck out, which I know is what everybody wants to see, I'm gonna do a transplant. Boop. Boop, boop. Boop. It's like you're really making us watch you do a transplant. I am. I am. All right, so now the game is in the steel book. I don't think we could have saved some plastic there. But I guess you want to keep your steel book and still go trade the game in later, you could. I thought it was going to be a download card only, like the first one, because when I got that statue there, when I bought this game, it came with this fancy cool statue from the first one. Not the first first one, but the first one for PS4. It just came with a card. It came in a big box, statue was sitting in it, and it had a card. And that was it. I need to clean his shoes off. He's dusty. All right. So, rubber ducky. You're the one. You make Hitman lots of fun. The fucking rubber ducky's got a barcode on the back of his head. That's pretty cool, huh? And then... Wow. That's really really solid. Right. I don't know if that's focusing or not. If it doesn't, when I watch this, I'll go through and do some better zoom in shots. It's mainly just an unboxing. I'm sure you can get photos that are high res that'll can I show you it says Let's see. I don't know if that's a spoiler or not, so I'm not gonna really read that off. You might have saw it already. And it's got the Hitman logo on the back. Bidding! Quick, throw it so you distract the guards. All right. Whoa, that's cool. All right, so the bullet says Hitman 2. Hitman 2 on both sides, like so. 
and then it's got the, the keys to the case. After the Red Dead case, I guess, uh, I guess, I guess I'm gonna have like a whole key ring. I still have my Grand Theft Auto V case too. My, our little bank bag it came with. I still have the keychains for that. And the, uh, what was the one? Oh, Grand Theft Auto 4 came with a little, like, bank vault. Or a, a uh, safe deposit box. So that's the case. And I've, so far, it looks like the, the reviews of the game have been pretty good. Um, I watched a video of, uh, it was GameSpot and IGN going at it with the co-op mode. So that was kind of cool. But yeah, so... Go get yours.